people don't understand the true opportunity of Bitcoin. That's why everyone wants to diversify into these shit coins. Ethereum, Cardano, Doggy coin, whatever the hell else that people are coming out with. It's because people don't understand the true addressable opportunity in Bitcoin. The the problem is, is that everyone thinks that Bitcoin is gold 2.0 and that's what Wall Street is promoting because Wall Street understands what the true opportunity is and they're shitting themselves. But they want normal people to think right now that the opportunity is gold 2.0 because, hey, if you can go from 50,000 to 500,000, hey, that's just a 10x opportunity. I can reasonably get that in the stock market. But if they actually made it possible for people to understand the true opportunity of Bitcoin, people would be piling into it like hand over fist. So it's actually advantageous for them to distract people with, yeah, this is just gold 2.0. Hey, this is just gonna go to 500,000. Hey, it's 50,000 now, you know? This is just a 10X opportunity. But no, in the background, they're shitting themselves. That's the only reason why they would wanna put that much money into Bitcoin themselves, because they're not, they get 10X opportunities all the damn time. This is way more than a 10X opportunity. Gold is a 10 or $11 trillion market cap. That's gonna get taken care of because Bitcoin is just much better than gold in every circumstance. It doesn't inflate like gold. It's, it, you can port it. You can, it's, it's so much better than gold on so many levels. That's just done. But let's look past that because that's what's most important. What's most important is what is past gold because how many douchebags out there, rich douchebags, have money stored in art right now? That's a $17 trillion market, right? They have their money stored in art because some uh, art advisor told them, hey, you should put your money in art because it will go up over time. So the only reason they're actually in the art is not because they love the painting, it's because they think it's a store of value. They think it's gonna go up over time and protect the value of their wealth. So they wanna get into some art. They don't really love the art, right? They, they also really know that they need to go through the hassle of selling that art. They need to get one of those douchebags with the hammer to actually help them liquidate the art. They, they have to understand the market risks because what if we go through a recession, right? And suddenly nobody wants a freaking painting. So their store of value is screwed. They understand these risks when it comes to art. They understand that it has to be stored, looked after the correct temperature. It needs to be transported safely. All these expenses that come with art just to hold it as a store of value. What do you think is going to happen to them? Just those people, because I guarantee there's some people that really believe in the paintings and really think that the paintings are beautiful and they actually want them and that's fine i'm talking about the people that are just using it as a store of value they're going to come so fast out of art it's going to be unbelievable because bitcoin doesn't require one of those douchebags with a hammer it doesn't require transport it doesn't require temperature controls it doesn't require auction houses to sell the damn thing and it doesn't require the next richest douchebag that thinks that this painting is also beautiful or an art advisor to tell somebody else to buy it so that's art out the way so let's cut the art market by half okay so the art market is down by half so that's let's, let's say eight to nine trillion dollars coming out of the art market and going into bitcoin so that's one out the way then you got real estate right how many well before even real estate let's look at wine right how many people i know people in my world that have caskets and caskets of wine because some person in a magazine told them hey this is a great wine and it's going to go up over time who wants to store wine who wants to store a value in wine they're only doing it they don't there's no way you can drink that much wine they're only doing it because somebody told them it's a store of value that's another few hundred million dollars coming out worldwide because you don't need to store it. you don't need to worry about the wine turning into wine turning into acid it's just going to come out and go into straight into bitcoin because it's the best store of value so then you got wine out the way let's forget all those little stores of value right i'm a cigar collector i collect cigars for me I'm not buying any more cigars to collect. I'm just buying to smoke now and what I want to smoke because it's not a store of value. Not as good as Bitcoin because Bitcoin, I don't need to look after. I don't need to worry about the humidity of my cigars. I don't need to worry about the air, air quality. I don't need to worry about anything. Bitcoin, I can go anywhere in the world and take it with me. But let's forget about all these little few hundreds of millions of dollars worth of opportunities, right? We've got art at 17 trillion. Then you got, let's look at the big boy real estate right real estate a 230 trillion dollar market where a, a large portion of it is only happening right all this building is only going on because people want to store 
their value. Nobody wants 25 homes. Nobody wants 500 apartment buildings. They're having that because it's a store of value and a money-making opportunity. They're not in love with the property. What happens when they realize that with Bitcoin, you don't need a mortgage broker, you don't need to deal with any stupid tenants, you don't need to deal with lawyers, you don't need to deal with anything, you don't need to deal with appraisers, you don't need to deal with anyone. All you got to do is buy the Bitcoin, shut the fuck up and get fabulously wealthy. Because when you do that, you, you have an asset that you don't need to maintain at all. There's no ceilings falling off, there's no carpets that need changing, there's no... The biggest risk with real estate that people don't realize is a geographical risk, right? Because right now Miami is doing something great. Miami is becoming Bitcoin friendly. So their real estate is going to go through the roof. New York, for example, in addition to the COVID issues, is becoming is becoming a, a, a Bitcoin hell zone, right? A cryptocurrency Bitcoin hell zone. So their property price is going to collapse because of a new emerging industry in Miami. Miami's price is going to go up. What if you own your whole assets and your whole nest egg in New York? You are fucked because you cannot pick that property up and put it in New York. You look, the geographical risk of real estate, it's, it's one of the most understated things in the fucking world and people don't pay attention to that at all. Good thing about Bitcoin is I can buy that Bitcoin, take it from New York, go to Singapore, and that bank can give me a loan on my Bitcoin at the exact same rate with the exact same appraisal process as a bank in New York. Why? Because it's the same asset in both places. I can't finance my New York real estate in Singapore because it's never going to work. And if I'm going to do it, they're going to give me much less favorable rates and deal terms than the banks in New York. So now we've got real estate out of the way. Let's say $30 trillion comes out of real estate, goes into Bitcoin, because people just realize, hey, I don't want the hassle of these, these extra properties. Yeah, I might want one, two, three, or four, but I don't want 20, right? So. All of that money is going to flood out of real estate and come into Bitcoin as well. You don't need to deal with tenants, all that other bullshit. Then you've got the stock market. How many people are invested in the stock market right now thinking that they're expert day traders and expert stock pickers, but really the only reason they're in the stock market is because some poor soul told them that you have to be in the stock market in order to have a good retirement, right? All those people are going to go, hey, what the fuck am I doing? I do not want to deal with the stock market. I cannot be bothered watching CNBC all day, trying to keep up with these tips. And 95% of the time, I lose my money anyway, right? Which is what the statistics are. Those people are going to come out of equities and go into Bitcoin. The people that don't really want to speculate, they don't want to have a bet whether Elon Musk is going to manage to make Tesla work or not, or whether Tim Cook is going to make the right decisions for Apple or not. These amateur traders and investors are going to come out of the market and go straight into Bitcoin. There's no risk. They don't have to do anything. It's the same asset. It doesn't have a CEO. All you got to do is hold the damn thing and it's going to make you money. Past that. Let's not, so, we, so now we're attacking, you know, the $100 trillion equity market. Okay, so let's take 20% of that. Then you're going to go into bonds. Who the fuck wants to hold bonds nowadays, right? Then you've got negative yielding government debt. Who, right now in Europe, there are bonds that are being sold at negative interest rates. Basically, I am saying, hey, I'm going to hand you some money and guarantee myself less in 10 years. When, I, when Bitcoin becomes a, 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 a certifiable, um, approved investment class, when the ETF comes out, things like that, hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, are going to come out of the bond market, the negative yielding debt market, and all these markets are flood straight into Bitcoin. That market is $100 trillion by itself. If we take 20% of that, $20 trillion coming out of that market. So this is not a gold opportunity. This is not $500,000 Bitcoin. This is a $100 trillion opportunity. This is Bitcoin potentially being worth $15 to $20 million per coin. And right now you can buy it for $50,000. That's why the banks don't want you to know how big the opportunity is and why they keep distracting everyone with the gold 2.0 argument. It's bullshit. Bitcoin is way more than gold 2.0.